Hello, good day, and welcome back to Go on the Run. And today I want to wrap up um, what we're doing with NAT's service. And so this is all the stuff that is in package micro on the NAT. So what I want to show you today is this idea of a schema. Now, schema just simply refer to the shape of data. So you might hear like, what's the schema of your database? And so it's just basically the shape of your database, like in terms of the tables, the types, the columns and types, okay, column names and types. For this NAT service, when I first saw it, there was an example that showed that how it supports schema, but I can't find that in the current code. So I went through the code, I looked at it, and I, did, I can't find that. What I think they did is they replaced the idea of a schema with just this metadata idea where you can just put anything you want. So I want to show you how you can use metadata to put some schema information into your endpoint so that oh, it's sort of self-documented because we saw that you can use like the NAS micro command to that command line um, tool to sort of discover and get information about endpoints. So what if you wanted to understand like what you should you send to an endpoint? Well, if we put the schema, attach the schema with it, we can see it. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So a lot of talk in there, let's jump into it and by the way i'm still in a hotel so you might hear the ac or whatever heater come on in the background and all these other things so i'll try my best here i am in my editor and nothing fancy i copy the code we worked on the last time from 22 to 23 and that's what i have here so I haven't made any changes. The only thing I want to do now is add a little bit of documentation. So we'll say that oh, this MAT request is for, um, you know, a MAT operation request. So MAT operands value for a MAT operation request. Okay, very fancy, right? And this here is um, the first, the first operand a binary operation okay so all the operations we've done so far are binary right they require two operands and this is the second operand for a binary thing and then this here is mat is the value of a yep mat operation and this here of course is the result of a binary operation the result of a binary operation there you go so i just had a little bit of documentation why did i add a little bit of documentation well you'll see how it's going to come in handy later on so that's the only thing I've changed. Now I'm going to close this so we have some more space, right? Um, and we can see. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit, um, just so in case you on a small display. So um, you can add, let's see, if you go here and we do this, you'll see that oh, there's this metadata field. And if you click this, you'll see it's just a map of string okay string to string so which means you can add whatever you want here so i can say that okay my service calculator here the author of or who well not the author maybe i can say company maybe if i want to put on information on the company um i can say acme personal um, company that's behind this maybe i can say um you no know, documentation where you can find more um information about this you know doc url um, maybe I can say HTTP, as blah, 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 Acme. That's not a real thing, um, slash docs, maybe, something like that. And so basically, I'm just trying to show you so you can add a lot of key value, um, string key value to um, this service part. Um, because remember, this is the configuration for a service itself, or name of our service is Cal version description. And then now we create our service with that configuration. All right, once we have a service, we can also add um, metadata to the, um, the each endpoint. And so we can do that by, and let's just um, take this endpoint, for example, add. And let's say I want to add some information about to the add endpoint. So what I'll do is I'll just, Put this in multiple lines so it's easier to see and so um, now once we enter we can say micro my arrow 
that and you can see with and you can see we can do with endpoint metadata with endpoint q group and then with endpoint subject the q group we cover q group where we talk about NAS, and it's just basically you can then even though you have a bunch of services with the same name that you start up they automatically remember try and work off the same q group and low balance right because by default the q group is just q but if you change the q group you can have multiple servers with the same name but you still manage to isolate and group things differently so that's beyond what we need to talk about it's not very hard you can just read the documentation and you already know q group q groups are used in NATS to um, allow a set of clients to um, you know subscribe to the same information right and balance within the q, q group so um, there's nothing new there really so let's say with metadata and again once again you can see here the metadata is that you're going to pass to this is um, thing so what i can do then is if i want to simplify things i can just say with metadata um, and then um, where's my add metadata let's just define it right here so add metadata is this and then we can say operation is add even though that's quite obvious but you know description had two numbers um, we can then um, talk about the parameters for example a is the first number b is the second number map right A map of string to string and that's it and so if we look what we've done so far we've added metadata to the service itself we've added metadata to our add operation by creating a map of string to string and we've added it using this um, variadic this method that is a variadic parameter to the add endpoint string so enough talking let's just go see when we run our code with this so i have um, nats up and running already so nothing fancy there and so what i can do is i can say you know go run and we can run our code and that should connect shouldn't give us any error and it look it's running like it look like it's running and then clear the screen and then i can say nats micro and i can do like list to list all the services you can see we have the calculator service that's great we can say nats info and then we can say the calc service for example and if you scroll back up this list you can see here's the metadata for the service itself right acme inc docs blah 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 so there's a nice way you can just add anything you want any kind of information and what about our endpoint look at our add endpoint we have description we have the operation so all that extra information from metadata it was there notice our sub one doesn't have metadata because we didn't add any metadata so i just want to show you that that information shows up once we um run our um program now we can find it right notice again the q group is q that's the default so we can change things if we go to the documentation for this um the adr for this this which is the architectural design document for NAT service we can see what it says about metadata so let's go over there and if we go to the service ap number 32 adr 32 so we come to the adr for the service api we scroll down and then we get to the section about met metadata which is optional you know string holding freeform data about the deployed instance implementing consistent consistently with blah 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 metadata for um stream and consumer and you look at adr 33 which is the very next adr and you scroll down here and you read it it's going to tell you that there's a limit to avoid abuse of the metadata the size of it is limited to 128 kilobytes this is the size equal to the length of all keys and values summed up okay so in summary what i'm saying is you can put additional information on your endpoint and your service to help you user understand how to use it where they can get more information about how to use it whether it's linked to documentation or something about like the schema for it what kind of schema you decide to use whether you decide to use something like open api or just a json schema or xml schema or you know protobuf schema that's up to you but just note how you can use metadata to help add additional information to help your user of the endpoint so i hope that's helpful um we're going to pretty much end it here for this video and also for 
not service and then we're going to move on to the very next thing all right take care um i'll see you in the next video before i go thank you mikhail for being a patreon subscriber and for anyone else who would like to subscribe there's a list of all the different ways in which you can subscribe and support the channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much if you're this far and you have not subscribed yet please consider subscribing you've sat through and watched the entire video i've waited till the end to ask for subscribers instead of asking for people to subscribe at the beginning um i figured out hey let you experience the video and see if this is for you um with that said um See you in the next video. Bye.